I'm gonna tell you my favorite college player and my favorite college, no, my favorite NBA players. I have one favorite college player and one and three NBA players, not in particular order. And this goes for basketball, 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 college basketball, right? And NBA, of course, that's basketball. My favorite college basketball player is Michael Beasley. Hands down, that's my favorite. That mother, that motherfucker is raw. Uh, he didn't reach, he didn't reach his full potential in the NBA. But you've seen spurts sometimes in Minnesota, man, where that motherfucker dropped forty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was raw. But you know, had shit going on where he didn't reach his full potential. But the talent was always there, bro. Uh, man, I used to sit over there, man. I believe I watched every game of his college, of his college uh, career. Kansas State, excellent rebounder and scorer. That motherfucker was raw, talented player, man. Motherfucker was what six eight, six seven, six eight type shit. That motherfucker like. Motherfuckers don't talk about that man. Like, that man was him. He was him, man. If you don't know about Michael Beasley, look him up. My, my favorite NBA players, like I said, not in particular order, T-Mac, Tracy McGrady. That's one. I mean, we all know Tracy, you feel me? I mean, shit, Tracy was him, man. Six nine handles and shit, motherfucker was him crazy score man. I, I mean I, I ain't seen nobody check him one on one. Y'all seen a motherfucker check him one on one? I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. My favorite moment of Tracy man was when uh, I think it was thirteen points in like a minute against the Spurs man. That motherfucker was in the zone, wasn't he? That motherfucker just really just took, you know what I'm saying? Half the arena gone and his ass scoring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember that like it was yesterday, man. Devin, uh, was it was it Devin, Devin Brown or Devin George? He looking like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that boy was him, though, man. Hall of Famer, man. You know, injury prone, though. No. But that man excellent score bro one of the best to play this game my other favorite player is uh Deron Williams nasty point guard my favorite point guard boy that light skinned nigga boy let me tell you something man boy excellent point boy that was Excellent point guard for uh, Jerry Sloan, man. The boy, the boy would sit over there and have a game, two points and like 20 assists, and then have another game of 30 and 10. He even drop a little 50 piece on you here and there, man. That, you know, his his career was kind of shut, a little shut down by injuries. He was kind of on the injury prone as well. Uh, excellent point guard, though, man. You know, it was always the debate, who's the better point guard, CP3 or Deron? And at that time, it was Deron. But, of course, CP3 has the better and the longer career. But at that time, prime Deron, prime CP3, to me, I guess you could say it was debatable. But if you really paid attention, man, it was Deron, man. Him dropping it down to Boozer. <laughs> <laughs> that boy was him, man. That excellent point guard, man. A little had a little swag on him, man. You know what I'm saying? He had a little swag on him, man. He just a little, little the way he carried himself on the court, man. He was like, man, I'm a smooth bad mother. Shut your mouth, you feel me? You know what I mean? I, man, I loved him, man. I, I, I love watching him going against the 
the Lakers in the playoffs, man, even though he always lost. But, <laughs> but you know, the boy was bad, man. The boy take over games, man. That's a bad boy. My other one, my, fi- my final one, Zach Randolph. Zach Randolph, that's bully ball right there, boy. See, that's the way I that's the way I play basketball. I think that's probably why I loved it so much. The grind house. Boy, that boy that man only had one hand. And nobody could stop it. The boy will hit you with that midi. He'll take you down and just abuse him. Boy, I remember when he abused Blake Griffin and boy. Boy. And you know DeMarcus Cousins, man, that's my boy, man. But the way he put fear in his heart, boy. That boy said, we bully the bully. I respect that. He, he's like a, to use that word again, he's a nigga to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Uh, man, I enjoy watching him play, bro. I watch him play all the time. I was elated, man, when that boy came to the Kings, man. You know what I'm saying? For that quick little year, man. You know, he wasn't z ball or the old, though. But, you know, he had his little flashback moments, though. But, man, that boy could play basketball. 20 and 10, easy, all the time. Him and Gasol, man, in that paint. That was probably the last of the post era right there. I think, I think when they went, when they was when they was done, it pretty much was like, all right, now we need face up. I mean, z ball will face you up, but, but now it's like, the Anthony Davises started, you know what I mean? The Blake Griffins, you know, that's that's what type of era it was. But, man, enjoy watching them play. Like, for real, man. Him, Tony Allen, man. Like, they'll sit over there, man. They'll, they'll grind out games, but because I love defense, bro. I love hard, physical ball. And that's what Memphis played. And that's why I enjoy watching them. And and Zebo, Tony Allen, of course Gasol were the main factors of Memphis basketball, man. So you gotta pay the man that do, man. That boy was a baller, man. Don't know how you couldn't stop that one hand. I think it's just because they probably were scared. Which is also why you feel me, I love watching that man play, man. Watching him just put fear and throwing them elbows, man, and telling Kendrick Perkins, man, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> man, I just I just love that type of ball, man. But, you know, yeah, they're my three players for the NBA and my college player, man. Hey, I'm interested, though. In the comment section, y'all let me know who is your favorite or basketball college basketball player or players and who your favorite NBA player or players. Y'all let me know in the comment section. But I think of right now, though, I wouldn't say he's my favorite, but who I love to watch, even though he's been tripping lately, it's Kawhi Leonard. I love watching Kawhi Leonard play. I love watching him play. But, yeah, like I said, I like, comment, and subscribe, man. Y'all let me know who y'all feeling in the comment section, man. And we out.